Hi there! I'm sure you guys were expecting this one. Now ever since I made the Mi TV 5X video, I've been flooded with comments. Which one should you buy? The Mi QLED 55 inch or the Mi TV 5X 55? And I can understand the confusion as these two TVs are similar in so many ways. Luckily, I have both these units with me. So what better than comparing these two side by side? By the way, I've made unboxing and review videos on both these devices. It's fairly detailed and I highly recommend you should check it out. I'll leave the links for those videos in the description. Now I'll share all the similarities, the differences, my experience and accordingly you can decide which one is perfect for you. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Tech Singh. I'm sure you know this one. So, starting with the build and design, I've never seen two TVs look so similar. You probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you didn't look closely. Metallic frame on both these TVs, matte grey on the Mi TV 5X, while glossy silver on the QLED. We all know how close grey and silver are. They look absolutely identical. There is a design by Xiaomi etched on the right bezel on the QLED TV, which is missing on the Mi TV 5X. The lower bezel is exactly the same size. Except the QLED TV comes with the Mi TV branding while the Mi TV 5X comes with the Xiaomi branding. Below the lower bezel on the Mi TV 5X are LED lights for hands-free Google Voice Assistant. And there's also a button to toggle it on and off. Then the exact same metal grey stands with the same design. And if you look towards the back, it's exactly identical with the carbon fibre design. Again, Xiaomi branding on the Mi TV 5X and Mi branding on the Mi QLED TV exact same port placement and the exact same ports as well. By the way, you get three HDMI 2.1 ports, one 3.5 headphone jack, two USB ports, optical, Ethernet and an AV composite. Now let's move towards the specs and compare the similarities first. So both come with quad-core CPUs, 4K resolution with VA panels, 2GB RAM on both, both come with HDMI 2.1 with eARC support, Dolby Vision, HDR10 Plus support on both, Miracast built-in on both, dual band MIMO Wi-Fi on both, Android 10 and Patchwork 4.0. Coming to the differences, so we have 32 GB internal storage on the Mi QLED TV and just 16 GB on the Mi TV 5X. The Mi TV 5X comes with a photoelectric sensor that lacks on the Mi QLED TV. The Mi QLED TV comes with only Dolby Atmos pass-through while the Mi TV 5X comes with Dolby Atmos certified. The Mi TV 5X also comes with hands-free Google Voice Assistant while the Mi QLED TV the Google Voice system can be enabled only from the remote. Then the Mi QLED TV comes with 6 speaker 30 w sound output and the Mi TV 5X comes with 2 speaker 40 w sound output. Now both these TVs come with quick wake feature which means when you press the power button in standby mode it turns on in a couple of seconds. Also an option to mute by pressing the down button twice on the remote, very convenient. But if we had to cold boot the TVs, let's see which one would start faster. Frankly, this test won't matter too much because we have the quick wake feature and it mostly will be on standby. We see the new Android TV animation on the Mi TV 5X. There you go, both the TVs boot almost around the same time, the Mi TV 5X being a tad faster. A quick look at the two remotes and it would be impossible to say which one belongs to which TV. It's actually the same remote we have been seeing on all Mi TVs and Redmi TVs minimalistic design with the D-pad and two hotkeys, Netflix and Prime videos. However, I would have preferred a dedicated mute button. I know I'm nitpicking because not everyone remembers that the volume down button can also mute the TV. And sometimes, just sometimes, when you're trying to reduce the volume in a hurry, you accidentally mute the TV. So a mute button would be great. Let's talk about the main deal, the display. So even if I hadn't looked at both of them side by side, I can say that the Mi QLED TV display showcases a whole new gamut of colors. It's much more vibrant and punchy. It's visually most satisfying, I'd say. Now, I'm not sure if the camera can capture the difference, but the reds and blues totally stand out. The Mi QLED TV has more warmer tones, while the Mi TV 5X is more leaning towards cooler tones. Actually, the LCD panel is quite colorful on the Mi TV 5X. But in comparison to the QLED TV, it does feel lacking that punch. The good thing is that the blacks are equally impressive on both. Again, but a tad deeper on the Mi QLED TV. We don't have the exact peak nits of brightness on either, but looks pretty good on both. Trust me, it's more than enough and what better way to test it than playing a Dolby Vision video on both. 
I'm sure there is more noticeable difference in color and tones here, but bright and every detail is clear and crisp. VA panels usually suffer from poor viewing angles and in this case, it's more noticeable on the QLED TV. On the Mi TV 5X, it's almost negligible. But this is if you are actually looking for it. It's not as drastic as it sounds. Now if you want to know how is the setup box quality on these TVs, I would request you to check out their unboxing or review videos where there is more detail about it. Then we get Android TV 10 with all the popular apps on both Netflix, Prime Videos, YouTube, they all come pre-installed. And you can download tons more from the Play Store, including some games. When it comes to performance, both have the same hardware and software, hence the same user experience. It's very well optimized and completely lag free. Goes without saying, we also get the patch for 4.0 on both, tons of content from several OTT apps in one place. The Mi TV 5X comes with a photoelectric sensor that automatically adjusts the screen brightness based on the ambient light in your environment. It's basically an adaptive display, so makes for a better viewing experience. We also get hands-free Google Assistant built in on the Mi TV 5X. So you can say OK Google and ask it to open apps, change the volume, you can ask it to turn off the TV or even turn on the TV. Everything hands-free. But we don't get this feature on the Mi QLED TV. However, you can use the Assistant using the Mi TV remote. Coming to the audio. So the Mi TV 5X comes with two speakers that have 40 watt sound output and the Mi QLED TV comes with a six speaker setup with 30 watt sound output. Now don't get carried away with 30 watts and 40 watts. Let's do a quick demo and Okay, firstly the Mi TV 5X gets loud enough to fill a big size room and sounds pretty good too. But the Mi QLED TV sound has much better audio fidelity. The depth, the clarity, the range is simply brilliant. Six speakers on the Mi QLED TV and two speakers on the Mi TV 5X. It says it all. But again, not that Mi TV 5X is bad. It's good, but falls short in comparison. Alright, the big question, which one should you buy? Well, let's see the price first. So the Mi TV 5X 55 inch is priced at 47,999, while the Mi QLED TV 55 inch is priced at 59,999. So there's a 12,000 rupee difference, which itself could be a big deciding factor. Now let's look at it objectively. The Mi QLED TV has better color reproduction, better audio fidelity, and more internal storage. But the Mi TV 5X comes with an excellent LCD display with hands-free Google Assistant photoelectric sensor and Dolby Atmos certified. Make your pick. One thing I can vouch for, you buy either of these and you're going to have a pretty good experience. By the way, the Mi TV 5X is also available in 43 inch and 50 inch. I'll share the links for all these TVs in the description. If you like to buy one or even two, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention it down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, Cheers!